Uh, right, you guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to the draft video. To the 2020 draft, anyway. Um, we're reacting to the 2020 NFL draft. It's the second season, the second year that I'm doing this. I will be back every single year. Just know that, guys, if, if no other content came out on this channel from the moment I finished these draft videos, just know that in 12 months' time, I'll bring out these videos again. It's something I really enjoy. Today, we're cracking into the second round, the third round, and the fourth round. But before that, we're getting a little bit of analysis from the experts on what we saw in the first round. So we've seen a couple of different opinions on what the biggest surprise of the first round was. My biggest surprise was the fact that Jonathan Taylor wasn't drafted. But with that being said, the next video, we're going to look at Roger, and he's going to show us every first round rookie and their family's celebration after being drafted. So this should be fun with the first pick in the 2020 draft, the Cincinnati Bengals. Select, Joe Burrow. Let's have a look. I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. Morning. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. They storming. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like I'm forming, like forming. Uh, and my forming jumping like it's Jordan like on my it's way. Broom, broom, tell them I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me. Cincinnati Bengals select Joe Burrow, quarterback, LSU. I worked really, really hard. I saw this one. To jump up to number one overall is, is crazy to me, but it's a dream come true. Case Young, very, very happy. Bro, to this win. guy's a monster. Ohio State, too. The Detroit Lions select Jeff Okuda. Okuda. Defensive back. Roger, Roger, Jesus. So now that leads us to the sixth pick. Justin, Justin Herbert. He's nearly hitting the ceiling. Six picks. My God, Aaron his brother's just as tall. Eric Brown, defensive tackle, Auburn. The Arizona Cardinals select Isaiah Simmons. Well, he's ridiculous. 439 as a linebacker. 439 at 238 pounds. And he what a boost. CJ Henderson. My Jags. Jedrick Wells is off the board. This guy was super impressive in the combo. And this guy. Bro, I just want to give that guy a hug, man. He is so huge. Star wide receiver, 6'4. AJ Terrell goes to the Atlanta Falcons and it gets emotional pretty quickly, ladies and gentlemen. The Dallas Cowboys select TD Lamb. Lincoln Riley is happy another sooner is off the board. How good is this? Oh, it gives you shivers, man. Really does. So good. Damon Arnett, defensive back, Ohio State. I remember thinking, look at those windows. It's spectacular. Oh, they'd be so amped. Yeah. 
Hey, you make me want to cry. This was a surprise. But I don't think it's any threat to Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has been there 15 years. Now, in saying Aaron Rodgers has been there for 15 years, you could take that two ways. One way is, he's already been there for 15 years, so even if Jordan Love was to be his replacement, well, he's had a good career anyway. And then you can see it the other way, that he's been there 15 years, there's no fucking way that they're going to get rid of him. That's his position until he wants to leave. Although, although there, there is a third side to this, it's a historical side, isn't it? And the fact is, is that when Aaron Rodgers got drafted in 2005 to the Packers, Brett Favre was basically at the exact same point of his career as Aaron Rodgers was. And we all know what happened 15 years ago. So it's going to be very interesting. The Packers have definitely thrown a little bit of a spanner in the works, but that's the NFL for you. He's very happy. John Schneider is happy as well. One more way to select Patrick Queen, linebacker, LSU. First round, baby. First running back, 32nd pick, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. And I don't believe he tra I don't believe he worked out at the combine. Oh man. Doing the draft this way is a new experience for look, here's the Alright, we're almost there guys, we're almost there. We've got one more video until we crack into round number two. And it's called cool. Which quarterback and wide receiver drafted in the first round is the best fit for his team? Now I will admit that my knowledge is not the best. But it is improving. So I guess all I ask of you is to keep that in mind. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. There's no time to lose. Peace out.